Good morning, garden friends and family. It's Judy from A Girl in the Garden, and this morning I am coming to you from the kitchen. I have my niece, Miss G. She is going to be helping me in the kitchen today, and we are going to start with making some homemade banana nut muffins. We are going to be using a cookbook that my grandma gave me. Um, past the plate, it was actually from her church cookbook. Um, this is a tried and true recipe that I have used, that my grandmother used. Um, so we are going to get started and we are going to make some banana muffins. All right, so right now we are going to get some butter into our mixing bowl. And they just go in here too. get the butter in there. Um, do you want to scoop the sugar or do you want me to scoop the sugar? I can scoop it. You can scoop it. Do you want a stool? I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay. four eggs. Do I crack these? No, do the sugar first. Yeah. We're gonna do this, this whole thing. That whole thing. That whole thing is a two scooper. And it has to be all the way full. Do you want to use a little scoop to like fill it up? Sure. Okay. Probably won't. Yep, there you go. A little bit more. No, a little bit more sugar. <laughs> sugar. Not a lot though. That's a lot. Okay, there you go. There you go. Girl. Okay. <laughs> oh. We're gonna shake some of that baby off. There you go. All right, I'm gonna throw it in here. Oh no no, go this way. There you go. There you go. Good job. All right, and then we're just gonna get this going. We're gonna let it mix for a second. So we have our wet ingredients in there and then grease it. All right, so we are getting our dry ingredients ready. We're gonna throw it in with our wet. I am getting the salt. Dip it in. Yep. And then Miss G is doing the four cups of flour. Here, careful. Like that. Now you have to wipe off that because it's wet on the side. And we don't want to get it mixed into the flour. Wipe off what? Wipe it off with a paper towel because you got some batter on it. And that way it doesn't mix into the flour. We're going to do two teaspoons of soda. There you go. Just a little bit more since we 
Don't yeah, say that. Of these, do you want to dump this in? Yeah. Okay. Come from this side. You'll be good. One. Yep. No, just another one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two. Two. Good job. All right. Now we're gonna mix this. And then we're going to get our bananas ready. Okay. And we're going to need six. So two left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll just do. I'll just, I can pick these two up. Okay, that's fine. Right. Yep, just put them over on the counter. Good job. Start throwing one banana in at a time. Don't we just mash them? We'll mash it in here. I don't uh, always follow recipes. Yep, just drop it. We'll get in there. So you can either make more muffins of chocolate chip muffins or you can make homemade brownies. Homemade brownies. You can make homemade brownies. Okay, you can do that. See, you didn't need to mash them. It did it all by itself. You see that? So one more left. One more. That's a lot of peeling though. It is a lot of peeling. But it's going to be a lot of food to eat. A lot of food. Yeah, more, more. The more the bananas, the more the dude. Mm -hmm. And what do I do with all these? We go in the garbage. Okay. I'll grab as much as I can. Oh, I guess I can put some in the mouth. Yeah, look at you, you're a pro. That's our oven. 
that's all preheated for us. Just gonna drop them right into the pan. Yeah, this is why I went over the spoon so we can go like that. And then the key is to get it about halfway. There you go. scoop. And then we'll turn the pan around when it's okay. Time to do the other side. Yep, that's a good scoop. This one right here? Yep. That's nice and big. Okay, lift it up. There you go. And then I'll put the rest of this in the pan. We're gonna stick this pan in the oven and we're gonna cook it for about 15 minutes and then we'll check it out and see what it looks like. Alrighty, so there is the outcome of the banana muffins. We have some mini ones and we have some large ones. Um, we had 24 of the big ones and two of them got consumed already. And then we have about 30 of the smaller ones and I'm sure that they won't last long either. All right, Miss G and I are gonna be starting to do some homemade brownies. So let's get going. I'm just gonna time lapse this so we can just see the progress. All right, Miss G, did you have fun in the kitchen? Yes. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Mm, getting to spend time with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Which one are you excited to try most? The chocolate brownies? or Brownies. The brownies. Well, thank you for hanging out in the kitchen with me today. It was a lot of fun. Okay. All right. Let's get these.